Okay, now with our infrastructure services in place, we can start focusing on the Spring Boot microservices. We actually have four different services. We frequently say three because one of them is a failover service and a fairly light service. Uh, and then also we have a gateway service. So technically, I guess you could say there's actually five services that, that come into play. But in this video, uh, the three core services that need to be talking to uh, MySQL and JMS, uh, we're going to be looking at those, uh, setting up the environment properties, how we do services service location uh, with Kubernetes in a Kubernetes context. Very similar to Docker Compose. I, I think you'll be pleased to see how uh, everything comes together. But we, what we want to be doing is we want to create the deployments and the service specs for each one of these services. Uh, we will need to edit the, the YAML for the environment specific properties that we need to set. And I'm going to go through each one of those services and show you exactly how to do that. Uh, then we will set up uh, readiness and liveness probes as well on the services. So uh, we are uh, proper citizens in a, a Kubernetes context. And then uh, with Spring Boot uh, 2.3 or higher, uh, we can do a graceful shutdown to allow the JVM to stop anything that's in flight as far as processing and shut down gracefully. So uh, we'll uh, configure Kubernetes and Spring Boot to allow for that. And then finally, we'll be setting up the Spring Cloud Gateway to allow us to access those. So we're going to cover a lot of content in this section, a lot of really cool stuff as far as uh, Spring Boot running on Kubernetes. So we'll have a by the end of this section, we'll have a very realistic set of microservices communicating and we'll be able to go in and access those services. So I think you'll get a lot out of this course and you'll see a lot of uh, how we can configure Kubernetes to support our Spring Boot microservices.